Hi, I'm Nobu from IAM and today I'm going to read the storytelling and the title is Sleeping Beauty. There was a king and a queen who had everything they could possibly want except a child. Years passed, but they had no children. At last, when they had completely given us up hope, the queen had a beautiful baby girl. The proud parents were delighted. They named her Rosaline. We'll hold a christening, cried the king, and the greatest feast ever seen. Servants sent out invitations to Duke and Duchess, to lords and ladies, and to the seven fairies of the kingdom. Will you be Rosalind's godmother? The king and the queen asked the fairies. They knew that fairies gave the best presents. After the christening, everyone went into the great hall for the feast. Every, each fairy was given a golden plate and goblet studded with diamonds and rubies. Wait! screeched the voice. A furious fairy swept into the hall. No one has seen her for 50 years. Oh dear, said the king, who had forgotten about her. The king leaped up to get her a plate. The queen rushed to get her a goblet. There were no gold ones left, only plain silver ones. How dare you forget me, Star the fairy. Time for the presents, the king said hurriedly, as the crib was moved to the middle of the room. The youngest fairy slipped behind the curtain. The other fairies lined up to give their presents. They showered the baby princess with wishes. My gift now, snarled the old fairy. At 16, you will prick your finger on the spinning wheel and die. No, wailed the queen and began to weep. Oh, said the duchess and fainted silence fell. The guests were too shocked to speak. The youngest fairy stepped out from behind the curtain. I cannot stop the spell, but I can soften it. Princess Rosalie won't die, she will simply fall asleep. After 100 years, a prince will wake her. At once, the king declared, From this day, all spinning wheels are banned. Bonfires blazed all over the kingdom. Every single spinning wheel burned except one that was hidden. Princess Rosalie grew up just as the fairy had wished. At 16 years old, she was clever, graceful, and always kind. One day, when her parents were out, Princess Rosalie decided to explore the palace. She wandered down long halls and up dusty stairs until she reached a little room at the top of the tower. There sat an old woman. Spinning wool, she smiled and sly at Princess. Rosalie and Bokond her closer. May I try? said the Princess Rosalie. Here you are, my dear, answered the old woman. As Rosalie bent over the spinning wheel, she pricked her finger and fell into a deep sleep. Ha ha! cackled the old woman. She vanished with a bang. The noise sent people racing in. They shouted and shook the princess but no one could wake her. A man even threw a jug of cold water over her. Princess Rosaline stayed fast asleep. Four footmen carried her to a bed. The king and the queen came home and ran to her. The youngest fairy heard the news and flew straight to the palace. She knew that the princess would be lonely when she woke up. So she flew around the palace and sprinkled everyone with the magic. The cooks in the kitchen fell asleep. The gardeners in the hope garden fell asleep. The stable boys fell asleep with horses. Even the jester fell asleep in the middle of a tree. Outside, the tangle of trees sprang up around the walls. Soon, a thick forest surrounded the palace. Only the topmost turrets peeked above the trees. Speaky branches barred the way. 
no one could get through. One day, a prince was out hunting when he noticed the palace. The prince decided to see for himself. He strode up to the forest. Roses burned into bloom, and the branches parted. The prince crept through the courtyard, past dreaming doorkeepers and dozing dogs. He found the great hall with the king and the queen, and caught her at all fast asleep. She wandered through passages and up winding staircases until at least he came into Princess Room. Hello, Princess, he whispered. And Princess Rosaline woke up. Who are you? she asked. I'm Prince Leo, he said. What happened here? Everyone is asleep. As he spoke, the palace started to come back to life. Princess Rosaline found her parents, who told them about the spell. The queen smiled. Thank you for rescuing us, Prince Leo. Please stay for a while. Over time, Princess Rosaline and Prince Leo fell in love. One year after, they married, and this time, no grumpy fairies spoiled this party. Thank you.